Welcome to Dude's Bloody Knuckle Emporium and Video Arcade. I'm Dude and this is Bloody, Bloody Knuckle Emporium and Video Arcade. I had a request from uh, one of my subscribers, Brian, to get a video of the gameplay of this. And this is very difficult. Actually, the only way to really do this is to hang a camera on my neck. And it'll swing back and forth. Sorry about that, but uh, it's about the best I can do at this point. Maybe I'll get something better in the future. Just want to point out some things about this game that uh, that's different from the original Donkey Kong and the in the Counterfeit Kong Gorilla. Number one, the gameplay is much easier here. I had a post where a, where a subscriber said that if you jump backwards from up here somewhere, there's an Easter egg inside of the screen somewhere that you could jump to an Easter egg. Haven't found it yet. I'm still going to do some research on that. Now, on this version of the game, if you can see, I'm, none of those barrels are coming up, down on top of me. If you put your hand on top of the girder there, those barrels will not come down, which is different from the Donkey Kong machine that they will. As a matter of fact, they probably will, will drive down that way. Um, if you hang out on ladders, they usually kill you pretty quick. But this one is it plays a lot easier and better for your, uh, for your garage or your video arcade because people can play it longer and not get so frustrated with it. That uh, I just played the Donkey Kong machine yesterday, as a matter of fact, um, at the Rochester International Airport. And it's hard. It's a hard game, man. To get to this screen on that, on the Donkey Kong machine, is much harder. The order goes differently, too. The second screen on the Donkey Kong is going to be the, 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 uh, the one with the blue screen with the rivets. This one goes screens 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. The regular Donkey Kong machine goes 1, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now here is, on this screen, you can go straight across and cheat. You can do that on every single level of this game. You can go across there. But it gets harder. The, the uh, second time around on this screen, it gets a lot harder to make that jump across, but you can do it. Okay. So some of the tricks, what you want to do on this screen, on the higher screens, not so much on this easier one, is go directly over here and take these rivets out. This is a stra strategy to get you higher up in the levels, because if you get around, and then you can get that hammer right here, you can clear out these barrels and force them over to this side. If you stay on this side of the screen, the, uh, the barrels will get forced onto this side of the screen. As you can see, they're coming out over here. So on the higher screens, you can force them over here and trap them and get, uh, and get a lot further on the screen because this screen is probably one of the hardest ones to complete. Don't worry about this purse down here. It's not worth it. You're gonna run down your. You're gonna run down your um, your bonus by getting that purse. It's not worth it. So on the second round here, I'm gonna make two jumps at the bottom of the screen, and this is the only time you can do this is on the second screen. Run a little bit, jump. Run a little bit, jump. There you go. You got 100 points right there. It's the only one it works on. So wash, rinse, repeat. I do have something else, another tip on the second screen. Coming up here, that I want to point out. It's kind of important for you to get really high up in the score as well. On the second screen, you, there's going to be a purse here in the middle. You're going to wait there in that purse for both of those barrels to come out on the top. Come out of the fire, uh, the, the uh, fire 55 gallon, the fire drum up there. Wait. One, two, then go. Here, run up here, and you're just going to do this on every single level on this. On this yellow screen, they call it the pie screen, because those dishes of coal look like pies, right? They call it the pie screen. And that's the way you're going to go up every single time. My high, highest score on this is 332,000, if I'm not mistaken. Somewhere around there, and it's about level 15-ish. Ugh! There it goes. See? 
little bit tough. Now the third one on that spring screen is, is kind of hard. It's not the Bruce Springsteen at all. Yeah, the spring screen, if you will, elevators. They called it elevators when I was playing this in the roller skating rink. And then this is the blue screen. And not invented by Bill Gates. That'd be Windows 2, maybe, 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 maybe not even Windows. Grab your hammer. All right, we're gonna wait. Wait for a barrel to come available and go. And wait. Uh, run away! Oh, the other thing, come up here. You can run behind the gorilla on the screen. On Donkey Kong, you cannot. You will die. Joystick starting to go south a little bit on this. The screen, you'll see it jump a little bit too. The screen is on its way out. Don't worry about the hat. Don't worry about the purse. By the way, that's a hat, that's a purse, and an umbrella. It looks like a lawnmower to me. That's actually her hat, her purse, and her umbrella you're, gonna, you're getting off of these screens. And then wash, rinse, repeat. There's really not much more to the gameplay here. You have to wait for this barrel goes further out each time. But just wash, rinse, repeat over and over and over again, and then if you want to, hopefully, I like to wait at the end there. simple but very easy that one doesn't usually get much harder oh. to get across there you got to jump on that uh, that one elevator very promptly Now this is the, the hardest spring screen here. Ugh. Hard to dodge those, you just gotta kinda get over here and wait. You just kinda guess. There's no real trick to it that I've seen. Back over here, clear out the four rivets. As quickly as possible, these barrels start coming faster and faster. So that's where it gets harder and harder. get over here the better. Sometimes it just won't come at you. Like I said, this screen can get real hard to get a lot of barrels on this side of the screen. Kind of shield yourself there. That barrel can't get me. This one can. Go on down. I think I got it. I'm doing pretty good. closing here but I'll keep on playing thanks for watching don't necessarily need to subscribe or anything like that there's I'm, this, I'm not in this for popularity contest I just do it because people are interested which is uh, really cool I'm glad that people are interested in the, my little hobbies and things that I enjoyed as I was a kid it's kind of nice that this uh, console had fallen into my lap it, it didn't cost me anything and just a little bit of, it always worked the whole time, was really taken care of. 
And like I said before in my other video, it didn't, it wasn't in a bar. So there's not a lot of cigarette burns all over it. So, which is really nice. The patina is perfect. Um, and uh, being in a roller skating rink, even though there's a bunch of kids over the, around there, they aren't drinking or smoking around this thing. So, didn't, uh, didn't get a lot of uh, environmental wear and tear, I guess. And it was always kept in, um, kept in con climate control places. So I'm really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. This becomes a pain in the ass. We're chasing this thing around and around and around. one up pretty quick. Most of my guys on the screen. 
and go down and back up again, but after a while it just kind of goes stale. Well, right, I could have made it. difference is on the original Donkey Kong you can only put in your initials. In this version you can actually put in your whole name or whatever. Hope you enjoyed.